All right, we got one more part here. <laughs> like I said, I'll just end them abruptly and then just come back on and let you know that I'm coming back. It's all right. You should see it in the related or something. <laughs> but, uh, all right. Overall, this is, this is the, you know, it's what I use on a daily basis for the most part. I have an addiction to flashing ROMs and stuff, so I switch between this and, uh, Android Revolution all the time just to see what they're doing with their stuff on 3.6 since you know technically we're not even supposed to have it on Sensation but you know Snizlon he does a great job with Ordroid he keeps it up like I said updated every day so he's a great developer should definitely check this out. It's definitely worth it if you have your phone rooted. It's smooth. It's great. The kernel is good. Showpiece kernel works great. Bricked. You know, uh, like I said, there's a little issue with the Beats thing. Plug in some headphones. Got some headphones plugged in. Uh, I mean, if you're worried about the if you're worried about seeing the little beat symbol, just go into your menu. They'll have a sound enhancer. It's the second one. Click that option. You see Beats Audio is there. I mean, it doesn't really work like that but they have a, a boost that was added a whole system wide boost um, just turn it off something else you see the symbol pop up after you change it and you can change it back and then you'll have your beat symbol on there that's if you if you need to see that but this is out of some headphones Playing it on headphones. So, sounds good though. The, the boost that they put on there was, is, it works. It's good. Sounds great. It works for every anything that you play as far as uh, movies, YouTube, you know, all that's integrated for Sense 4. Uh, said everything works. Uh, you got the, you got your adding widgets thing. Just press and hold on the home screen. Scroll through. Pick your home screen. Here's a blank one. Just pick the home screen. Pick whatever. I want to go in there. A lot of people say it's slow, but then it's like they don't understand how to, to use it or something. Cause I mean, if you really want it up there, you don't. You know, a lot of videos will talk talk crazy like, oh, it takes a long time, it's just unnecessary. I've seen that in a couple, because they hold it and then they drag it and all this. You don't even have to do that. You, you pick the screen you want it to go to. Like I said, you go in there, you find which one you want, and just tap it. And it's there. See? It'll add it. Boom. Press that. There it is. Let's add it. Right there. There's our blank one. It's all added. It's really not slow. It's it's pretty simple. <laughs> and, you know you can add your apps. They got it down here. Shortcuts. Um I've seen on one HTC one S video though that they don't have the the box transition on there for some reason. I don't know what happened with it. They took it out or something, you know, so I guess it's a 1x <laughs> transition now. Just to make it the 1x seem that much better. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, you know, you got your little uh, delete function, I guess. 
that works pick your home screen out you can add them add panels get up to seven and you can also take them away same thing with the widgets take them you know, swipe them get rid of them uh, there's a lot of resizable widgets too like this one I just added the email one once you uh, click and hold it you can resize it you know ice cream sandwich stuff uh, not all widgets but there's some of them that you can if you pick ones that are in like list form kinda like that one is like I said transitions are smooth works good open close quick opens programs pretty quick uh, I don't have any freezing issues or anything like that no. see open that pretty quick scrolls good uh, one thing I do also when I you know every time I get my phone started up put a new ROM on or whatever I go into the settings and I personally go down to the developer options so it's gonna be blurry and I'll show you I have a picture for it the, picture, the pictures might be their own video honestly just have some music in the pictures playing so check that video out too but uh, you scroll down here to the animation box you see the animation box checked and right underneath you got window animation scale and transition animation scale it'll be set to one when you go on when you first get it on there I just go in and change it to 0.5 it makes everything run a lot smoother so if you think everything's lagging at first go in there and try to change those and you'll notice how quick everything opens and closes and stuff also you can force the, the GPU rendering and stuff too so you just gotta go into your settings and like I said down to developer options and there you go you got that so I mean here's a few videos you know so uh, I'm gonna try to put out some more videos and stuff so just uh keep watching keep looking out I'll try to update not as much as he updates the ROM because like I said Snizlon updates too much <laughs> not really too much I like it I enjoy updating my phone every day it's like having a brand new phone I mean really I've bought this phone like 27 times <laughs> messing with his updates that's <laughs> what it feels like so uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you watched all of them. Check out the picture video, all that. And I'm going to do one on the Nexus S. Um, the GSM one, not not the 4G. Regular, regular Nexus S. I'm going to do one on that. Uh, I don't really need to review the camera if you watch this video. You see how sh crappy the video recording is with ICS 4.04 .04 on here. Uh, but it takes great pictures. You'll see the pictures. They look nice. It's just the focus and stuff. There's no zoom and stuff. But that's another video. Thanks for watching. See you later.